Hi, I'm John. I'm a maths teacher currently teaching in Brixton. Today, I'm going to help you go through some maths problems, such as this, and I hope that it helps. Let's say we want to find the surface area of this rectangular prism. The first thing we need to realise is the best way to find the surface area is to find out how many different faces there are on the shape. Now we can see here that this face, this face and this face are unique. But in fact, if you were to go around the shape, you would see that you would find this face at the end here, this one on the other side here and finally this one on the bottom. So we know that if we can find the area of this face, this face and this face, if we add those together and multiply by two, that will give us our total surface area. So let's add in some dimensions for our example. Let's say that here it was two centimeters and here it was five centimeters. And finally, this dimension here was eight centimeters. Let's make that a bit clearer. First of all, let's start with this one. The area of this shape, because it's a rectangle, is simply two multiplied by five. So the area of one, I've labeled it one, is equal to 10 centimeters squared. Remember it's centimeters squared because we're dealing with an area. Let's work out the area of this one. So the area of two is equal to this length here, which is eight centimeters, multiplied by this length here, which is five centimeters. Eight multiplied by five is 40, and we have centimeters squared once again. Finally, let's work out the area of that face. The area of three is equal to this length here, eight, multiplied by this two here, because that is the same length as this bit. So eight multiplied by two is 16 centimeters squared. We add these up and that will give us 66 centimeters squared. The final step is to multiply this 66 by two, giving us 132 centimeters squared. I'll just write that step there. We multiplied this by two. And this here is our final area. This is the surface area of the prism. Just to recap, to find the total surface area, we find the area of each individual face and realize that each face shows itself again once more on the shape. Which means if we add together all these areas and times that by two, as we have here, that will give us the total surface area of the prism. And that's how we find the total surface area of a rectangular prism.